Hello students, welcome back to Medico Apps. Today we'll have another interesting session on an image-based question in ophthalmology. Right, so let's look at the question. A farmer has come to us with complaints of diminished vision along with watering and redness. He gives a history of injury with a stick and slit lab examination shows us an image like this. Right, so what is the best possible treatment for this patient? So let's try to diagnose the patient before we look at the options. So here we are seeing an ulcer in the center of the cornea. And what are we noting over here? What is this? Another small ulcerative lesion away from the main ulcer. This we are calling it as a satellite lesion, right? Yes, I'm sure most of you have arrived at a diagnosis. But then there's another clue also in the question which will make the question easier for you is the injury with a stick. Now, injury with a vegetative matter, right? A stick is a vegetative matter. So these two points are pointing towards the diagnosis of fungal corneal ulcer, right? Well, now let's look at the options. So he's saying that they will treat the patient with 3.8% fortified cefazolin and tobramycin along with sending the corneal scraping for fungal culture or sending the corneal scraping for fungal culture along with 5% natamycin eye drops. Option C, 0.3% of fluxacin eye drops with a topical steroid or option D, intracameral vancomycin. Now, we have arrived at the diagnosis that it is a fungal corneal ulcer, right? So, the treatment, now there are two main fungi causing um, fungal corneal ulcers in our country. These are Aspergillus and Candida. So, whenever uh, after the culture on uh, KOH mount and Saberod's dextrose agar, we are using KOH mount along with Saberod's dextrose agar to confirm the diagnosis. Right? We give uh, natamycin 5% eye drops for Aspergillus infection along with Amphotericin B or Fluconazole. Any of these drops can be given. So when we have candida as the diagnosis, we go for amphotericin B eye drops in the concentration of 0.15% or econazole in the concentration of 1%. However, when the local therapy is ineffective, we go for systemic therapy, especially when the location of the ulcer is at the limbus because there is a risk of fungal endophthalmitis due to perforation and the oral drugs we give are etraconazole and boriconazole usually in the dosage of 400 mg BD and then we taper it to 200 mg BD depending on the response of the patient. So let's confirm our answer right now it is 5% natamycin eye drops after we confirm the diagnosis by sending the corneal scraping for culture. 